Okay, everybody, it's BC here. Just a quick follow-up of the episode I just uploaded. Uh, I did, uh, besides for visual work, the hover pads. Uh, originally, I did have them set to directional. Uh, turns out it doesn't actually need it. It does work really good. Oh, I forgot to unlock this one again. Uh, I, I'm going to warn you, if you do get dizzy, and I was getting pretty dizzy earlier, uh, when I was just testing it now, if you get dizzy, you get motion sickness, you might not want to watch this. Uh, I'm going to go into third per. I will start in first first person. So, I shouldn't actually have to touch it. I was sort of getting it to move on. It's, I was using the controls to actually get the turn, but apparently it decides it wants to spit on its own as it is. So it is going to start getting a little blurry, a little choppy, and I'm actually glad we're outside a lag range on this. Okay, I'm starting to get dizzy already now. I'll go up to third person, you can see what's going on here. Now when I did this before, when I first tested this, after I redesigned here, uh, the carriages were horizontal. Completely horizontal. I don't know, not exactly know how fast the main thing is spinning, I just know by how, how far out the cars are pulling out. And as you can see, it's getting getting pretty fast and that rotating plate's holding up pretty good so that was the whole problem is the, the hover pad was hitting the side wall that I was using that using that as the push off plate but I guess they'll naturally go in the, the direction of the directional on the hover pad so I guess that's what it is because I'm not using any controls before any, at all I was planning on using W to actually get to uh, start going look at that uh, I'm sure you're getting pretty dizzy. If you're still watching this, I know I am. Well, you can get to the point. I'm going to jump out here in a minute. Uh, you can actually see it's almost horizontal now. Alright. Yes, and that's what it's really like to be on this ride. Anyway. Oop. Let's get out of the way. There we go. It actually works. Uh, I kind of broke it when I was trying to fix it because, or when I tried to rebuild it because I had to actually lock everything if I was going to be building on these things because uh, I'm sure a lot of you know what happens if you try to do that. But I, I locked the main one first and then the, the cars are, they were sort of doing a little bit of a shimmy on there. Not, not like game breaking, but it's just like the weight moving back and forth. So I locked the rotating plate, and then I locked the first hinge, and I locked the second hinge, but I locked it too quick. Thing went went back like this and shot off into the distance, and I died instantly. I don't know what happened. I didn't see anything coming. So I had to slowly lock them, you know, stop it for a quick second, unlock it to sort of hit the brakes a little bit. But there we go. I just wanted to finish this one up and show you guys what happened. All right. I'll catch you guys later.